Rated M for Mature. This is what we have put everything we have into. It's basically kind of like, I would say, our Sistine Chapel. This is it's the project of a lifetime for a lot of us. are absolutely art. It's the new expression, I think, of our times, where it combines music, cinematography, uh, 3D art, everything together into one piece. I think video games are absolutely art, and I think if a person were to say they're not, it would be an insult to every single hardworking person on this team who's bled their soul into the product. I do think there are a handful of games that could possibly be labeled as the pop art for our, our generation. Going to an art gallery or museum and uh, you know partaking in and looking at any sort of exhibit that's there, a person ultimately comes to their own conclusions about what the art makes them feel. And I think video games are very similar in, in regards to that as far as each person takes away a different experience. You're not just listening to music or watching a movie, you're creating it. When you turn around, you are framing the picture. You're making the movie with yourself. So you're participating in it much more. You're putting yourself in a world. I would say sometimes it can be really frustrating if the player runs through the level and turns the wrong way. Or, or, you know, looks left instead of right, he could totally go buy this thing that you consider one of the best things you've ever done and totally misses it. But in the end, if the player wants to stare straight at the ground, they can, and that's what makes it art for them, that they get to participate. You know, when people talk about great games, graphics comes up all the time, right? That's the first thing you see. So you look at a world, and it's partially technical. It's partially, how did they do all that? Such a complex world that looks so realistic. But it's partially art as well. Um, you know, we won the best graphics for Gears of War, the first one. We also won best technology. And I went up and accepted the award both times at the Game Developers Conference and said, we're so great technically because of our artists making us look good. And our artists look so good was my next speech because technically we're so strong, right? It has to come together to make great graphics. When you look at a video game and see a certain amount of graphical fidelity, it's important to separate that from what actual artistry is. Uh, we could render the real world perfectly in certain ways if we chose to, but when we do a game such as Gears, we decide to stylize the universe and we choose to make a, a, kind of this uh, pseudo-European environment that's been, you know, been blown up and a, a lot of wars have occurred in with you know, very bulky men and very scary monsters because that's our artistic design and the, those are our sensibilities kind of coming through into the game. One of the scenes that personally resonates with me as far as a vista in Gears 2 is the sequence at the beginning of Sinkhole when Marcus and Dom kind of come out and they see this section of city that's been sunk and Marcus uh, says to Dom, there it is, the beginning of the end. Early on in intervention, I think when you step out, there's a kind of a cinematic, you go through land down, which is kind of a snowy area, um, and then you get to, uh, you go underground, you hit the grind lift and you get to go violently through the earth and um, your grind lift lands. And I think when they step out of that pod and you get to see for the first time the underground with all the molds and the spores and the lighting and um, the bats flying through and there's bugs on the ground and there's all kinds of stuff hanging down and slime and moss and um, I think that's a pretty visually impressive scene. There are a number of influences that personally kind of affected my output uh, creatively working on the, the product of Gears. Uh, first and foremost, a uh, trip to London uh, like five or six years ago that I had in which uh, just kind of experiencing the mix of the old and the new, the uh, architecture that's been around, the sense of history, the sense of place, it was uh, tremendously influential. Uh, as well as musically, uh, was listening to a lot of the Requiem for a Dream soundtrack back in the day when working on the first game and uh, those kind of uh, sad uh, chords by the Kronos Quartet and that same hook that's reused in a lot of uh, techno and rap beats is uh, something that resonates all the time when uh, working at a computer. Personally, it's Frank Frazetta, H.R. Giger, you know, stuff like that. Um, growing up that these artists um, have, have influenced my tastes. I'm particularly like uh, kind of the World War I and World War II German military tech. There's something about the German military stuff, it's, it's, it's purpose-built and it's, it's over-constructed. And when you look at it, you know it's meant to blow stuff up. I kind of take that idea and put it into everything I do for Gears, you know, that, that everything's built with a purpose and that's generally to you know, blow stuff up. The thing is given, even the smallest detail is given the same amount of love as you know, these, the giant towers or the huge creatures that you see walking across the, the screen. Right down to the, how we designed the architecture in the world, um, 
It's all based on this uh, beautiful European architecture, some of the French influence and, and, and stuff like that. Some of the, some of the things like the, uh, the grime and the little, uh, the little bits of paper and trash that are laying around the level is, is are one of the smaller touches that I think adds a lot of detail to the, to the world and the universe. We've got modelers that model doorknobs and um, little pieces like that and some guys are doing rooftops and walls and some guys are doing characters and um, then it all comes together miraculously. I mean, it just, it, it works. It works really well. I think when you look at the uh, world, you look at the characters and everything that comes out of it, you truly feel like you've been transported to what is essentially another world, another place, another time. And uh, that, in my opinion, is uh, an art form in itself. Hang in there, Rook. We'll be there soon. Let's go find Carmine.